Same one? He, he said these are the same ribs. What? This is my truck. Is it? What the hell? That is my truck. What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I could cry, but I'm not a crier. <laughs> Hey, so I'm just telling them that we're going to do some rock lights, right? Yeah. But really, we're going to surprise him with the whole, his dream truck. Right. So the plan right now is his cousin is coming here this weekend just to hang out with Matt. While he's here, we're going to tell him, hey, let's just go ahead and install some rock lights while you're here. Hey, what's up, man? We're getting on the road now, like right now. Oh, y'all about to get on the road? What's it, about two and a half, three hour trip? Yeah, it's 2.45, 2.40, something, yeah, something like that. Hey, I was talking to uh, JW. You want to do some rock lights on your truck or something tomorrow? I can't afford rock lights. I mean, I don't worry about the price. We got some special ones for you. I ain't got to worry about it, man. Yeah, I'll do it. You sure? Okay, I mean, you, you ain't got to worry about it, man. I got you covered, man. Don't worry. We got you. We'll, 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 uh, we'll go over and uh, we'll put them on probably tomorrow afternoon. Okay. All right, that way, that way whenever you do get your truck lifted and we can finally get these wheels and stuff on there, you'll already be set up with the rock lights. One last thing you got to worry about. Yeah. I appreciate that. All right. No, I was just talking to my homeboys about some rock lights. Angel was asking what they were. <laughs> yeah, so we'll do that, okay? Uh, we'll probably do that tomorrow, all right? Yeah, Alright man, y'all be safe and I'll see y'all in a few hours. Alright, I'll let you know when you get close. Alright, that works. Alright, Alright, so that was the setup. That was the setup. That was the setup. Basically what we're doing today is we want to give back to those guys who fight for our freedoms. So, Matt's cousin came back from a deployment and he had recently just bought a truck and he knows us, he's hung out with us in Daytona. He's seen all of our trucks and he's always wanted to build a truck of his own, but you guys know with the military budget, he can't, well, cause he's, he's, he's like- uh, E4. E4, so with the military budget, there's really not much he can do. So I wanted to surprise him with his dream truck, reached out to Rough Country and they're gracious enough to join this project, donated a six inch Rough Country kit. And then we reached out to Hostel, they gave us a really good deal on these wheels right here and also reached out to versatire and they got us a set of 36s right 36. which is perfect size 36 1350 r22s yes, sir. which they're on the way and we are going to use the rock light as an excuse to take his truck to work on his truck but what are we going to do like the lift him, is going to break yeah tell him like once while, his truck is on the lift yeah we're going to we're going to go pull the fuse switch the breaker whatever and tell them that the lift doesn't work anymore. And okay. so we gotta wait until we can get the repair guys out to the shop on Monday. Yeah. So that gives us the whole weekend to do his truck and he exactly. will have no clue that this is even happening. Yep, so our excuse is that we're ju you're just gonna have to leave the truck here over the weekend. And while it's there, we're gonna go over there and put his lift, wheels, and tires on. Yes, sir, that fresh haircut. Huge shout out to Elite Innovations for partnering up on this build. Uh, Matt's cousin is back there and he has no idea what we're doing. Uh, so right now he thinks we're just doing rock lights, which we are. But when we get done with the rock lights, we're gonna say there's something wrong with the lift. You're gonna have to leave the vehicle here for a couple of days. And then while the vehicle is here for a couple of days, that's when we're gonna work on the lift kit. A huge shout out to Elite Innovations for partnering up, letting us use the shop today. We have Matt's cousin right here, Kane Brown. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so right now we are doing 22 rock lights on this truck. You've always wanted rock lights, right? Yep. So always. yeah, we were trying to do like a lift kit for him, but you didn't order it yet, right? Something like that? Or Matt Matt was slacking, he didn't get all the parts order for you? Yeah, we'll blame it on Yeah, we'll blame it on Matt. So while he came down here for a four day weekend, we're like, let's at least do rock lights while you're here. So, uh, and huge shout out to Mondo for letting us use the shop today. Look at that. Ride together, die together. I like it. 
right. Go get in there for that turbo giveaway. 50 entries right here. 50? Yeah, 50 entries. Dang, that's a lot. So what are we doing here, guys? We are making, we're doing rock lights. Uh, we're making this connection longer so that way we can see into, make oh, make three of these connections into one. That's our ultimate goal. So make this one longer, make this one longer, meet here, and then make it into one solid connection. That's gonna hook into the primary that's on the truck. First time. Yeah, he's a mechanic in the military, he said. Yeah. They don't, they don't do rock lights in the military, so. No, we don't want to. Hey guys, Joel. We do blackout lights. <laughs> oh yeah. Hit that blackout drive, baby. <laughs> Where you at, truck master? <laughs> country if you're watching this help him out let's get him a lift kit maybe uh, give us a discount it is 12 o'clock we got all the rock lights mounted as you can see all the rock lights have been mounted now we are calling it for the night we will be finishing this up some other time day two of the uh, surprise build. I gotta go into work. At least that's what they think. Uh, really what I'm doing is about to head over to the shop so we can finish up the rock lights that we started last night. And then uh, JW, Donnie, Stan, uh, we're all gonna knock out this lift right quick. Our tires from Versatire should be here today. So shout out to them for partnering up with us on this uh, venture. We have the wheels already in the back of JW's truck. And then once we get done with the lift, wheels and tires are going tonight. And tomorrow morning, eight o'clock, taking it to get an alignment. And then we will have the reveal sometime tomorrow afternoon. We're all gonna meet up for uh, lunch or brunch or dinner, something like that, and do the big reveal. Next day, just got back from running some errands. We gotta load up the truck with the Rough Country lift kit. Head over back to Mondo's shop. We actually have to start assembling the lift kit. So yeah, crunch time. It's already 12 and uh, we're trying to get it done by tonight. I, th I think we can do it. We, we have like three to four people there. So I think we'll get it done. If you are my FedEx guy or UPS guy, I am so sorry for all these orders I've been placing. Turbo and the lift kit. And there's more coming. Micah, if you're watching this, it was a lot of work uh, trying to trick you, but it was for a good cause. Honestly, I never thought I would like my Retrex bed cover. I didn't think I would like my Retrex bed cover like that, that much. I've always been a fan of the trifolds, but this bed cover has come in really handy. And I, don't, I can't see myself getting any other bed cover in the future. Okay. Roll-up covers are the best. Is that why you're about to get a Retrax? Yeah. <laughs> Ready to go? Yes. You got but, everything? Uh, got, no, I'm not. I have to grab a couple more things. Oh, let's, let's hurry up. Vamanos. Copy it
And we're back at Elite Innovations. Real quick, I have to unload. Is my truck squatting a little bit because of all the stuff in the back? I don't think so. I think it's just the ground. But we gotta unload hostile wheels and rough country suspension. Well, here it is. We got everything right here. Would you get some donuts? Yeah, but I brought some donuts for everybody, for me too. I'm watching my figure right now. I just don't have any. Oh, man, I need to go buy all of them and get some paint. Oh, now outside of the truck. <laughs> That, the height difference makes it a little hard to work on. For real, man. On the truck sometimes. Matt wants to go higher and Donnie can't go any higher. Can't go any higher. He's maxed out, dude. <laughs> we got all the suspension stuff unloaded. Right now we're waiting for Versa tire to get here. We'll get to my house, which is 15 miles the other way. But luckily, Stan lives by me and he said he'll pick them up once the tires get dropped off and he'll bring them here. And when Mondo gets off uh, from his other job, we will get the hostile wheels and the tires yeah, mounted and balanced. Over. Hopefully by the time Mondo gets off, we'll have the suspension done. So we did have a little hiccup last night while we were installing the rock lights. Uh, what had happened was I found out that this truck behind us is a 2.7 liter four cylinder with a turbo. Now that got me thinking if the lift kit we ordered was gonna work because I thought it was a 5.3. So we ordered a kit for a 5.3. Did you see turbo? No, turbo. I didn't see a turbo. Turbo? But. We're giving a turbo away at JW Motorsports. Donnie, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to explain everybody what the, what's wrong with the kit. We can we can tell them the turbo giveaway later. The, I lost my I lost my train of thought where we were. He wanted to talk about our turbo giveaway, which is exciting. But so I, I went on their website and I looked at this lift kit, and with this lift kit we got the full length strut instead of doing a strut spacer. Full length strut usually looks better than going with a strut spacer. And uh, when you select this lift kit. The 2.7 liter works. However, whenever you go to the drop down menu and click on full strut replacement, the 2.7 liter is no longer available. Full strut only works for 4.8, 5.3, and 6.2s, the heavier engines. So that got me really concerned. I was wondering why the full strut wouldn't work. So I reached out to Rough Country. They said possibly because of fitment issues, there might be lines. Uh, I sent them a picture of the control arms and basically the whole wheel well. And they said there shouldn't be any clearance issues. Only thing we might end up with is because the coils and everything is going to be clocked differently. It may squat a little bit compared to your 5.3s and the 6.2s. So when we get done with this truck, it might squat a little bit. If that's the case, we're gonna have to do an Adelief or Rough Country said they are going to compensate that difference and come up with a bigger rear block. So we're excited, but we're also kind of nervous to see how it's gonna turn out and if we're gonna run into any fitment issues up front. But Hopefully not. Now, Donnie, we can tell them about our turbo giveaway. Yeah. What's our turbo giveaway? You go to JW Motorsports <laughs> and you get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Every dollar equals one entry into the giveaway. So, go copy the new shirts, the new sweatshirts that they got. They got the knives, they got the, the bottle opener, keychains. Got all kinds of new stuff out there. Go check them out. New designs, you're the best. What are we giving away? A turbo. Well, what kind of turbo? Any kind you want. That's right. Whatever. What you drive a Dodge. Truck? You drive a Ford. I mean, you drive a trash can if you drive a Ford. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a fan, then I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm I, just I don't just know joking. this guy. <laughs> but yeah, anything that's available on Ryan's Diesel Services website, uh, if you are the winner, you can go on the website, pick a turbo you want, and it is yours. So head over to the website. Every ten, every dollar you spend is one entry. We got some really cool designs. There you go. We got the spindle here. And then the other spindle is like... Over there. Over, the over there. You want to go ahead and cut this box open for us? Let me get next on that knife. Got to cut these open right quick. There Ooh, you go. Look at that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Priorities. Priorities, baby. Yeah, the wheels. You ready? Yeah. 
Bam. Oh, bam. <laughs> Get ready. All right, let's see what we got. Surprise. Nice. Oh, they're nice, dude. 22 by 10. What are these? Vulcans or something? Mm -hmm. These are perfect. Are these the Vulcans? Mm -hmm. No, these are the Vulcans. Ooh. Dude, they look nice. It's like right, the I'll same finish as mine. Yes, I really like them. Cool black. What's that number one here? It's the Vulcan. It is the Vulcan? It's the Vulcan. We have confirmed that it is the Vulcan. Mm -hmm. I know my hostile wheels. Somewhat, kind of. So, they remind me of mine too, man. Back on oh, the Diablo? No, the other one. Your forged one. Your forged one is a s Punisher. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> right about that. Look at me with all the hostile wheel names. Sprockets. Those were super popular back in the day. Let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys used to rock. What's your favorite hostile wheel? Yeah. What is your favorite hostile wheel? Mine was the Sprocket when it first came out. I think. Dude, those were so popular, they were on back order for a whole year when they first came out. That was pre-COVID days. Let's see. That's it. Oh, what's up? Woo, buddy. Close. Close call. And here it is. Here, that's going to look good. Then I'll buy some JW Motorsports Rock Lights. Yes, sir. I thought you weren't getting struts. We are. That was confusion last night. Did this, I know that happened last night? I, I kind of heard, but I didn't understood that you I weren't swear, getting struts. I swear, Donnie never struts. stays in the... No, he walked, no, so Donnie did a good thing and walked to the front of the vehicle and got hiked on the way. Hey, here's the whole instructions. Dude, I was, I was paying attention. This is the big dilemma because this, these are designed for the heavier engine, the 5.3, Oh. Uh, we weren't sure if it was going to fit. Turns out the only issue we might run into is it might just uh, squat a little bit. The yeah, man, y'all can get the front started. I'll, I'll get the. Yeah, we'll do. We'll start with the front while he does. You got the instructions. But for those of you guys that are wondering, Rough Country Struts, there's a website right here. You get three-year limited warranty. So, Damn. yeah, if you're shocked goes out i mean they'll warranty it rough country does offer limited lifetime warranty on all their products so they they really do stand behind their stuff uh, i've had to call them a couple of times and they really do stand behind their product and that is beefy it is beefy. that's way better than having a strut spacer heck yeah love it yeah it's nice i like it The drop bracket goes on right there and right there. Matt already cut the cross member piece right here. Also cut this one off too to make it a cleaner look. So yeah. that way it's, it matches on both sides. Mm -hmm. Symmetrical. It doesn't say in the instructions that you have to cut this side off, but for symmetry purposes I did. All right, what's next? All right, Spin so the spindle we'll back on the- Spindle back on the hook. Or hook back on the spindle. Whichever way you want to look at it. All right, let's do it. Line this up. I guess we can leave that thing there. Put the O-ring in here, and there should um, be- There is one in there, there is that, the other one is here. Okay, okay, okay. This and we're at the screws, yes sir. Keep it straight. 
right there. I'm going to Parts truck is here. Our SEMA parts truck. Our SEMA parts truck is here delivering the Versa tires. He's trying to run me over. Most of it done. Did you really? Uh, we're putting everything back together now. Oh, nice. Front diff is dropped. Well, I was playing my part, all right? Your tire can leave. Where's not? <laughs> they put they put JW Montana. Did they really? <laughs> yeah. Montana now. Not Montana now. Like Hannah Montana. Must say, is that your, is that your kin? Huh. Hannah Montana. All right, so my truck's pretty big. And then you see Matt's truck on 40s. And then we have freaking Stan's truck. I don't think I've ever parked next to his truck. Well, it's been a while. I don't think I've parked next to his truck since SEMA. But look how much bigger this truck is <laughs> compared to mine. I thought my truck was big. This is a 9-inch lift on 38s. 19-inch lift on 42s. So, yeah. It, I think it might barely fit in Mondo's shop. So, we got tires delivered. And uh, they apparently got the name incorrect. Apparently now his name is JW Montana. So get in the comment section. Make sure we acknowledge the new last name, Montana. Yep, I am now Montana. JW Montana, the one and only. <laughs> Is done next wheels tires mount balance and it should be all done Changed in like 20 years. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey, all this struggle bus. All this tire shine on my hands. Hey, blame it on. Oh! oh. This ain't amateur out. Oh. <laughs> he got it.
So much bigger. That's not bad. Wow. Dude, he's not even gonna recognize it. He's not gonna have a clue that it's his truck. Oh, he's gonna be happy. Oh, he's gonna be. Ex he won't even know it's his truck. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to show him too. Turn the lights on. Dang. Twenty-two rock lights. No, sh look at no shadows. Look at that. Wow, the placement on this. We did a good job. We did a great job. Three in each wheel well, and then what is it? Three on the frame or four on the frame? It's three on the frame, two in the front, two in the back, three under each wheel well. Nice. So it's twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yep. Sell them at JW Moore Sports Co. Co. Cool white advanced LED. Yep. We thought we were done, but somehow we ended up with two extra parts. Mondo, it was not my fault. Mondo wasn't here, so we asked him, hey, what are these parts for? They go on the axle. So we're taking, taking the whole front end apart again just to slide in these spacers. It's already one o'clock. We got another hour to go. Mistakes happen. We had pictures. We had instructions. It's just nobody wanted to read. Work hard. Play hard. That wasn't too bad. That's what we were missing. Ah. <laughs> Yep. Here we have the truck in the daytime. Today is the grand reveal of the truck. So we got it right here. Just got back from the alignment shop. Whoever did the alignment at Firestone in downtown Augusta said that camber and caster does not affect tire wear and they did not even adjust camber and caster. So all they did was tow in the tie rod and that was it. We gotta take this back to another Firestone after we do the reveal because it's so, it's still drivable, somewhat within tolerance. Where's your uh, alignment sheet? Bruh, really? Before, after. It's literally still all in red and they thought it was okay to just give it to you. That's crazy. I mean, adjusting the toe, if we wanted to, we could have done that at the shop, but we could have eyeballed it pretty close to being within I mean, the tolerance. It was at it was at 0.56 and 0.40, yeah. and they took it to zero three. So I mean, we we're like a half inch off on each side. Almost. We could have had a piece of string and freaking eyeballed it. Yeah. And you pay money for this? <laughs> that's that's not right. You got so I got the lifetime one, so I can go to any Firestone Tires Plus, or he can go to any Firestone yeah. Tires Plus. Where does it say that on the sheet that camber and caster doesn't matter? 
It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? She just told you? She just okay. told you. She tried to tell me that. Alright, I'm gonna go pick up the family. I'll meet y'all at court. Alright. Alright, let's do this. The, the keys are already running. Okay. Uh, see if we can find a parking spot to... I was gonna do oh, Stan's truck the and then him park next to Stan's truck. So you can't see it? Yeah. <laughs> right, Donnie? Good with that truck. Donnie is our I'll designated driver. The, I'll try to park on... I, I looked at the parking lot. Yeah. I'll try to park on the other side of Stan's truck. Can I speak through the photo? Alright. Right now we are plotting. You just couldn't stay in your car, huh? Nope, couldn't. You gotta come bother me. Sure did. <laughs> That's called love. So is it? All right. So Donnie's parking over there in the corner, and then Stan is gonna block that truck, and I'm gonna get on the other side of Stan. Hey, your favorite truck. You should have brought that little Duramax Georgia plate, dude. That'd have been perfect. Damn. Yes, me too. <laughs> He's got two inch spacers. Oh, you do? Well, maybe this. I don't know why. Then it's weird. The tire. Are you recording? Yes. You changing the plate? I took the plate off. I totally forgot to bring my own, like my old plate. 16 wides and two inch spacers. I'm like, uh, maybe I need more of that. We're just waiting now. So the game plan is Micah still thinks we're working on his rock lights. And right, we're gonna tell him, hey, bad news. We got sidetracked yesterday. We couldn't finish the rock lights, so we're gonna finish it today. We're gonna tell him there's a truck here that looks really similar to what he's about to do, which is over there. And we're gonna show him that truck, and then that's probably when we're gonna reveal it that it's his. Move out the way, fool. Hey, I like your hoodie. Where'd you get that? Thank you. JWMotorsCoach.com. Nice. <laughs> we gotta fix this way bar in there. I know, right? It's popping. Look, we got a whole squad here. You excited? I wanna see his reaction. So we got bad news. We couldn't finish our rock lights last night. Yes, we'll right. have to do it today after we eat. All right. But yeah. Yeah, Mondo, Mondo said his shop's open today, so we can go finish it up. All right. yeah, he's gonna help us. Mondo. Doing all right. Yeah, you. Yeah, go look at this one. Yeah. That's Steve. He's in the truck. Okay. What do you think? Is that what you want? Yeah. Yeah. Is that like pretty much exactly what you want? That's like spot on. Really? Yeah. You got Let's dance. What size is the tires? The 35s? 36s. 36s? It was good. Yeah, hostels. It was my same rims too. Same rims? Hey, Matt. What's up? Are these the same rims I got? Matt, Have you not seen your wheels in person? No, I got a picture of them though. No, I think it was the same ones. Hold on. Are these the same rims? Same one? He, he said these are the same rims. What? This is my truck. Is it? What the hell? Those are my glasses. Batman. You sure this your truck? Hey, that's my truck. What the? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I could cry, but I'm not a crier. You gotta cry, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It ain't oh, me, man. It's gonna cry. Me, man. I know, I know. Hey, but thanks for your service. Hey, I had to block you on Instagram for like three days. <laughs>
<laughs> He's crying. Oh. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Hey. Hey. Yeah, that's why you can't tag me two days ago. Because I had to block you because we were like, I was posting everything on Instagram and I was like, we can't let him see or have any idea. Oh, God. Oh, rock lights are done, by the way. <laughs> Turn oh, my lights, God. Hey, oh, my keys. Oh, I got oh, it. Oh, Donnie's got it. Hey. Oh, he's going to start it up. Switch. You had no idea, huh? No, nah, I had no clue whatsoever. Man, we were so anxious. <laughs> yep, because you left us hanging. <laughs> you know what I was doing all day yesterday? That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, two in the morning. Till two in the morning, we was working on this oh, thing. You went from a terrible cousin to the best cousin. <laughs> Right? Oh, dirt bag. <laughs> I was cussing you out of my head. Man. Hey, we were so scared that you were gonna like drive by the shop just just because you wanted to, I don't know, drive by. I almost shot you a message on the, uh, your website page. Oh like, yeah. Hey man, I still want to get the the keychain and I was gonna get a knife and everything. For you. <laughs> man. And then I thought about this morning. I was like, I don't know how long Matt's gonna take. Let me just see if they just want to go over there and do it. I'll take Lisa's call. <laughs> Because yeah. I had to go back to work this morning to go get your trucker line. Yep. Yeah. He, he didn't work yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he did good. He wore his uniform and everything. I know, right? Rolled out yeah, in his uniform. Had, so you didn't do no work at all. Well, we worked oh, on man. this. <laughs> yeah. Day, we were working just at the shop all day yesterday. <laughs> nah, man. But, you know, uh, AW wanted to uh, do this. He had a reason for doing it. I mean, I, wanna get, I wanted to give back to, you know, our military. And uh, we figured, I mean, you've been wanting to lift your truck for a while now. Yes, you were at Daytona nice. with us and you hang out with us. So I knew you were you were itching to do it. So yeah. when Matt said, hey, uh, my cousin still wants to lift his truck. I said, why don't we get back to him? You know, he's in the military. Let's get back to him. And I reached out to Rough Country and they actually sponsored us with the six inch lift kit. Yeah, so that lift kit is you your sponsor by Rough Country. I've had the wheels. The real, the tires. Versatile. Yeah, they sponsor. Wow, that's crazy. I just did the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why when you were telling us that you apply for sponsorship, we started laughing. We're like, you're already sponsored. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. I love it. I could. It couldn't be any better. Glad you enjoyed. It. I really appreciate that. I remember having a conversation when we were driving back with the trailer. There it is, man. Well, Matt had a special oh, reasoning, too. <laughs> yeah, I just, I mean, for me, you know, just seeing the person that you've become since 2015, 2016, your maturity levels, uh, you know, you about to make this move up to Fort Bragg from Fort Stewart and everything. And so we wanted to kind of send you off right, uh, even though you're just going three hours in the other direction. Um, we wanted to make sure we set you up right and everything, so you're good to go now, man. You got you got your truck that you wanted. You're part of the gang now. <laughs> oh yeah, lifted light. I got me a sticker too. Yep. yep. Yo, you you got, gotta check out the back. Go look at the back window. Your license plate's in the back seat because I didn't, I wasn't sure if you were gonna like maybe notice your plate right away. Yeah. Oh. You like that? Yeah, I love it. Well, legit, huh? Yep. That's, yeah. that's exactly what I wanted. So I want all white stickers. That's perfect, dude. It worked out. We might add Versatire on the bottom, like bottom center. Let's do it. Yeah, we Let's just didn't it. have a decal from him. I love it. Yeah, man. but before you drive off, you got to put your plate back on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I took it off like right before you got here. I couldn't ask anything better. I feel like the Great Value Diesel Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Matt, we're the Great Value Diesel Brothers. Great this is our episode brother. one. <laughs> this is our pilot episode. <laughs> Oh, you took the license plate off and yeah. everything. Yeah, you pulled it off right before y'all rolled up. You're like, you know, it. Nice. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm glad he likes it. They were a pain to mount up last night. Yeah. Were they? Just because uh, uh, they're 13 wides on a 10 inch wheel. So it was a little, it was a little heartache, but we pushed through. Yeah, you know, I've been posting videos all on Snapchat. And yeah. everybody's like, what are you trying to get in your lift? I'm like, nah, I'm doing. I'm just doing some lights right now. 
Not in bad. Oh, oh, now I can unblock you. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yesterday, me. yesterday he was like two days ago. He was like, I can't, I can't find you. I was like, oh, it's the service. Service here sucks. I've been tagging your, uh, your, your, your uh, shop page. Yeah. yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, are you private though? I am. If you're private, like I'm about to undo all that. Yeah. If you're private, like I, you can't tag anybody. That was gonna be my next excuse. Then the uh, last yeah. night he made a post in Versatile, reposted it, and I was like, uh oh. Could you he follow Versatile? I do. He but then, I was like, he might see that Versatile. <laughs> yeah. But then I have you blocked, so I was like, I don't think he can see it, even though Versatile yeah, reposted. They can't repost it. See it. Exactly. All right, it's cold. Y'all want to go inside? No, look at some food. Truck. <laughs> truck. Man, you can look at it tonight. Oh, this will give you a little bit of work. Pull it up fun. on the camera at the house. Just look at it. <laughs> Coming to work on it after we ate, I got two bolts in my pocket. <laughs> oh, look at that. I bet that was looking Yeah, that's what we're playing. We see if we're going to make a mood swing. He's yeah. going to be sad and it's going to be happy. Dude, you look so disappointed when I said we couldn't finish your walk legs. <laughs> he was like, all right, no. man. Uh -huh. That's fine. Well, I was like, yeah, we got it. We baited him. I was like, man, y'all jinxed me. Y'all said we were going to be done by like Tuesday. I got to leave Monday. He was Monday. mad at everybody. That was, our, that was our plan. And the fact that you had to block him, too. Well, that was Matt's idea. I was like, if he follows me and I want to post stuff about it, he might get an idea. Come on. Yeah. I was posting oh, like... Six inch rope country, versatile, and your hostel wheels. Yeah. I'm unblocking you. <laughs> we say he's gonna make it pri uh, public anyway. Ha, 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 ha.